don't want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't want to do the work today. <laughs> no dying today, no sorry. Back it up, Terry, back it up! You guys, you guys and your commands. You know, um, I, <laughs> yeah, well, we went on a walk earlier today and, um, I just, like, I'm clean. I showered, but I, when I looked at the, <laughs> thanks, Rumi. <laughs> I just feel like I have to say something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to say something, but I've seen a lot of other streamers have something that like plays when an ad plays. It's kind of a long message, but, um, you know, so I actually was going to try and, um, <laughs> look at you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, entire stream without saying anything, community redemption, just miming everything. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody where like you don't even have to say anything and yet they totally understand what you're saying where you're like and they're like <laughs> I've totally had those conversations with my friends where nothing is said but everything is spoken through eye contact we're like Be such a challenge for me. I can't stop talking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, me and my wife trying to figure something out behind 5 KZ. You're like. <laughs> um, yeah, my hair is very bobbly today. Auden called it a um a uh pill bug. <laughs> and like I said, so I put it in a ponytail back here, and then I like pull the two parts up and like 
anyway, that's how I did my hair today. So you're just, you're, that's just, that's just, that's just how it's going to be. Um, we've got Land Rider and we've got Rumi. I saw you up there earlier, Rumi. I saw you in my chat. We've got Lindsay and AMD. Yeah, so if you type um, exclamation point Kalulu, it puts accessories on Kalulu, like mouths, hats, mouths and hats, mostly. <laughs> and uh, I think I said hi to Martin, Martin and Boyaki. How's it going, you guys? And Collector. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So um, I actually uh, went to actually, I, I actually went to go send a message to ShineSpark about something. And ShineSpark has like totally disappeared from Twitch. They're not on Twitch anymore. They're not in the Discord anymore. I don't know where they went. I hope everything is okay. I know they said they were possibly moving to Alaska, but I don't remember when that was going to happen. And I just, I just hope they're okay. All of a sudden I, I like, I thought of something and I was going to message them on discord and I couldn't find them on discord. And so then I went to try and whisper them on Twitch and I, they're like no longer on Twitch anymore either. So I just hope everything's okay. But, um, I don't know. So <laughs> shine spark, which you know all about. I know I, and I don't, I don't like to be like, well, where did that person go? I don't like to, I don't like to be that way because life happens and sometimes people come and go and sometimes people lose interest or they move on or they find someone else that they want to hang out with or whatever. And I don't ever want anybody to feel like weird about that or, or whatever. But, um, shine spark was kind of a big part of the, at least like the beginning of my streams, they were always posting lots and lots of commands. And then everything just went quiet for a while. And I just thought, oh, well, you know, maybe they're there or maybe they're not. I don't really know. But then when I went to go message them, I don't remember what it was. I was going to send them a message on Discord and I, um, I just didn't, I, I can't find them. So anyway, I hope everything is okay. That's fine. I love, I love that person. It looks like a slinky between two stairs. You're right. It does. Yep. But I just, um, but I just hope everything's okay. That's, that's the biggest thing. Like I said, I know they said they were going to move to Alaska or something like that. They said they couldn't stand the, the heat and they wanted to be somewhere cold. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what's going on. But anyway, I, I love them and I appreciate them being a part of my community for when they were. And if I ever see them again, I will be super, super excited. Um, <laughs> is this yeast? Is this Yizma? Is this the, does she wear like little hats or no what is she does she wear hair like that no she doesn't even really have any oh she kind of has that like f she kind of has that fringe i guess behind her anyway yeah i was gonna style my hair today and then um i just decided against it i literally pulled my hair up like this to get in the shower and i was like yeah okay i threw a headband on you know cover up all my little long ones that don't quite go back or my short ones that don't quite go back into a ponytail yeah um that's that's what shine spark said shine spark said they hate anything that's above like 77 degrees or something like that and i was like well then alaska is definitely for you so i know that was a possibility but i just really wish them the best and i hope that everything is good and i hope all the vibes are good um, I don't think I have really anything else. I don't really know. Hey, it's Hello. Scarecrow! Scarecrow! I don't know. I feel like I have to, like, give you guys a report after, like, every day. I'm like, well, we did this today. And, you know, I'm a woman, and this is kind of what we do. Well, I woke up, and I had a piece of toast, and then I... But I don't have anything to really report. We just... We just are cleaning up well Lots kind of sort of news, um everyone. oh thank you so and much for the news, resub collector everyone. thank you you know what i was messing around with um uh i was messing around with streamer bot and i think i might have figured out my problem and it was user error also it's dead bods popping in for a quick hello and then a quick goodbye i love that thank you so much for popping in for both a quick hello and a quick goodbye um I uh, I messed around with the alert because my gift sub alert isn't happening. And I think I figured out the problem. I think. I don't know. I've been having more problems with that, but I think it was just user error on my part because you can set like a minimum and a maximum. And I had zero set at the minimum and, and zero is the maximum, which basically means it will never fire. And I was like, oh, I thought zero just meant like there was no threshold, but no, you can delete the numbers and have the boxes for the thresholds just be empty. So I was like, oh, that might've been my problem. Um, uh, 
so our Christmas was great. We had a really, really good, um, we had a really good Christmas. We, wait, 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 Rumi says opposite of my wife. We moved to Houston and she thinks it's still too cold. What? Houston is warm and it's muggy. I've only been to Houston once and I, I don't really love the idea of going back. Not that, not, no offense. It just wasn't, it just wasn't really my thing. I don't love Dallas either. No offense to basically dad. Basically dad is in the Dallas area somewhere. But um, I just didn't, I, I don't know. I, I, I really love Austin, but of course Austin is the next California. Nobody can afford to live there. Um, but I thought, I thought Houston, I thought Houston was warm. Really, really warm. Hey, it's rabbit season. Dallas is awful. Fort Worth is quickly becoming that way. Are you in Fort Worth? Yeah. I just kind of, <laughs> you're just not strong enough. So we lived in Austin for about 14 years. No, 14 years. No, it wasn't 14 years. I've been married. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We lived in Austin for 10 years. Okay. We lived in Austin for about 10 years and we loved it. And I'm kind of of the belief now that I don't want to stay in Texas if we can't live in a place at least semi close to Austin. And where we are now, I mean, we found our house. Like we got our house. We got in before the market got really bad, which was, we were really, really lucky to do that. Um, I don't love where we are now, but I really love our house. And so if I could just like pick my house up and move it somewhere else, I see you, Elson. I see you. Elson yesterday was like, you need more of a restaurant staff. And I was like, you are right. You are totally right. Mm. Um, I just, uh, yeah, we, we got in before everything went crazy and, um, uh, and I'm really grateful for that, but, um, I don't think when we eventually move, cause we don't feel like this is our forever home <laughs> and, I, and Andrew and I joke because he's the Bishop of our church congregation and his five years, which is normal about for a Bishop to be Bishop, um, is this October is this coming October. And so I was like, do you think like you'll have a hard time with the next person that's bishop and he was like oh 100 absolutely we're gonna have to move and i was like whoa really and he goes well no because i'm not really in a position to move right now Anders' whole business is based on texas parks and wildlife and fishing right he can't just pick up and move somewhere even though there's good bass fishing elsewhere he can't we can't just pick up and move right now but i have my eyes on south carolina actually because it seems like it would be kind of cooler, not quite as hot in the summers. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We can get Inside Out's peanut butter and jelly. What is Inside Out's peanut butter and jelly? I don't like the heat in Texas either. I'm, the heat is just like every summer, I'm like, why are we here? Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Why are we here? Yeah. Um, it's not cooler in South Carolina? Oh, well, then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe North Carolina? Does it snow in North Carolina? I think collectors around North Carolina. Oh, DJ BJ shared a joke. I need to see it. I did see that, and then I didn't. Right before the clock strikes midnight on December 31st, make sure you raise your, your left leg. That way, you will start the year off on the right foot. Oh, my gosh. I need to tell that joke to my dad. He would love that one. And then... um. I found one, I had one, somebody post one on my Discord that made me think of you. Let me find it. I think it was Endymium that posted it. Oh, wait, I think it's in the dad. Also, um, I saw what Lindsay said about all, my, all my, my parenting stuff yesterday. Okay, what did Yoda say when he saw himself in 4K? HDMI? I thought that was so good. That was so great. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't, uh, I appreciate that, Lindsay. We got off on a lot of parenting stuff yesterday. I'm not entirely sure why. We first started talking about Karens, but that's technically what toddlers are, is they're just little Karens that don't know how to manage their emotions yet, but that's our job as parents to help them manage, manage their emotions. But I don't know, it was just a decision I made when I first became a parent. I was just like, if my kids start screaming at me, I'm not going to give them what they want. I don't care who's watching because it's gonna get so much harder as they get older if that's how they learn to get what they want. I don't want to be shouting down a nine-year-old. You know what I mean? I want to be in a position where we can have like an actual conversation with one another and like just 
talk it out and I've had to use timeouts before, but you know, I don't, I don't really have to, um, I don't really have to use timeouts that often, but I also feel like, I also feel like my kids are just super chill kids. Some kids just are. Um, but we just, we have kind of a lot of kids in our church congregation that are just kind of crazy. And apparently there's a, a big thing about food dye. And so a lot of the families in our church congregation have gone dye free. I don't know if it's helping. I don't know. I haven't really noticed much of a difference. Um, I'll be honest, but that's a big thing right now. We have a multi multiple families in our church congregation that are like, oh yeah, no, we don't do dyes. And I hope it helps. I do. I really hope it helps. Um, Collectors in the North Carolina, are, uh, Charlotte area. That's right. I'm a member of your library now. <laughs> and actually, you know, it's funny. I just realized I can join the Austin public virtual library because I live in Texas for $22 a year. It was, I think it was 45 to join the Charlotte library, but I'm thinking about just joining the Austin public virtual library too, because they have a really great library. Um, it rarely snows. Summer can be very hot and humid. Hmm. What I need to do is I need to move to California, <laughs> but I can't move to California and I can't, I can't like actually afford California. So, well, yeah, like, yes, you, um, you stay inside, but then your AC just runs constantly. And then you pay a million, million dollars to keep your house cool. We just got a new AC unit. So hopefully that helps take some of the financial load off of us next summer. But, um, just more of an efficient unit. And I like the fact that it can switch automatically between hot and cold. So now I can just set a threshold and I don't ever have to touch my thermostat. The highest it'll go is 72 and the lowest it'll go is like 70. So that way when it gets cold outside, the heat will automatically turn on. And then when it gets warm, the AC will automatically turn on. And I feel like that saves me money anyway, because then my AC isn't running or my heat isn't running. Like it's not running when it shouldn't or it's not on when it shouldn't or something. I don't really know. Well, yeah, I know. I don't necessarily want things cold. I did grow up around mountains. So I'm from, I'm originally from Utah and I grew up around mountains and I do miss the mountains a lot. I don't miss the snow. I don't miss the snow from like October to like May. I don't miss that at all. I don't mind snow. I just don't want six and a half months of it. You know what I mean? Snow also, there's a lot to be said about having children in a warm climate because honestly, most of the time my kids can throw on flip-flops and we can go somewhere even when it's kind of chilly outside. The snow, there's this, there's like layering and you got to put on the pants and the boots and the gloves and the hats and the coats and all that stuff. And you don't really get that in Texas. Like it's usually just like sweaters, maybe some boots, maybe a hat. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You have to donate your your uh, firstborn arm and a leg, your sanity, every penny you'll ever make. Yeah, Andrew's dad still lives in California, and um, I mean they have a lovely house out there, but I I can't I can't even imagine being in California. Martin says you could go up into the mountains a little in Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina. Definitely cooler than in Texas, but somewhat mild winters. Gosh, maybe. I didn't think about Tennessee. My brother lives in Tennessee. I'd love to be closer to my brother. Even if we were in like the same state, that would be really nice. Speaking of my brother, I um, I just got a like a um, email saying that my like spectrum bill is due on this certain day. And it's on my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is in two weeks. And I didn't really think about that until I got that email today. So... I don't know, but we had a really, we had a really nice Christmas. It was a really great Christmas. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of sort of, I'm kind of sort of glad it's over. It felt a little weird without my mom here. It just felt a little empty, I'm kind of ready to take all our decorations down. However, I don't know who saw my picture on discord or saw my story on discord, but I went to Walmart looking for wrapping paper the day after Christmas for 50% off because I have a hard time paying full price for wrapping paper when it's just going to be shredded and torn up anyway. So I always go after the day after Christmas and get wrapping paper for 50% off and it's great. And I went looking for wrapping paper and there wasn't a single roll of wrapping paper left, but I did end up leaving with like 15 inflatables. <laughs> this was all Anders idea. He wanted the Christmas crabs. They have like little holly berries like on one of their pinchers. Honestly, you can barely even tell it's there. I was like, what makes this a Christmas crab? So we bought seven Christmas crabs. 
because they were on sale, 50% off. They were $8 a piece. And then I got an Oogie Boogie, a Jack Skellington, and a sea turtle. So what is that, seven? Okay, that's not 15, but that's, that's a lot of inflatables. However, my kids love inflatables. I've now become that parent, and I won't need any more inflatables for like six years. So it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So it was a good Christmas. We had a really good Christmas. I do, I do miss snow around Christmas time, um, but I only want snow like on Christmas. And then it can go away the next day. You know what I mean? Because Christmas is a pain. Or, I mean, sorry, snow is a pain. And um, it's pretty when it first falls and then it just kind of turns gross. Um, I think my brother was kind of out. Where is my brother now? He's not in Nashville, but I think he's right outside Nashville. He was in Franklin, but he's not in Franklin anymore. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. Like, you have a studio in California and you're paying... It's outrageous. I can't even, I can't even imagine trying to afford something out in, uh, <laughs> Land Riders like, I miss snow too. And I'm in Utah. Wait a minute. Do you not get snow? Did you guys not get a snowfall this year? Or has it just not come yet? Maybe we should just put the crabs like on our house. I was like, Hey, what would it take to put them on the roof? Could we do that? Ander wants there to be a crab rave. And I'm not joking, you guys. He says he wants to put a speaker outside and play the crab rave from like 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. all next Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, whatever, man. You do you. That's fine. He doesn't want to, um, he doesn't want to put up lights on the house because he hates putting up lights on the house. And I don't blame him. I don't want to put up lights on the house either. So we got one of those little like projectors that puts up the pretty lights on like the front of our house. And then we already have a turtle and a unicorn outside. We're going to be that house next year with like tons of inflatables. Our neighbors are pretty close. They're like, yeah, we're in a neighborhood. It's like one of those cookie cutter neighborhoods, you know, like we have about enough space between me and our neighbor, our house and our neighbor's house where we could put two RVs next to each other. We have like space at, at our house on the side of our house that an RV could fit. And then they have space. Like after that, we could put another RV and then their house. So it's, it's pretty close. <laughs> well, I know, but it wouldn't, how many guns do they have? I know we're in Texas. You never know. You just never know. I don't mind snow, but shoveling and scraping ice off of the car sucks. Agreed. So when I was living in um, Utah and uh, I was in esthetician school and I had to wake up really early and my car was always covered in snow, I decided to start putting a beach towel out on my car windshield. And then in the morning I would like, I would tuck it in the sides, like the car doors. And then in the morning while everybody was out scraping their cars off, I would go out and open the doors and shake the towel off. And I'd have a perfectly clean um, windshield and I'd drive away while everybody else was scraping off their cars. I was really, really proud of that. Actually. I was like, sayonara. Now, if it rains, you just get a wet, towel that is potentially frozen. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just don't, I, I don't know. Mortgage is stupid. Luckily we have our car paid off. Unluckily student loan payments have resumed. Mm, yes. We own my car, but we still owe money on Anders truck and he has to get a new boat because his boat so he has a deal with Bass Pro Shops. He gets, he's like a representative They They basically sponsor him. And so he has to get a new boat like every three years or something. So it's covered under warranty. And it's now time for us to get a new boat, which sucks. Cause it's just a big like hoopla deal. It's big. What's it called? Brouhaha. I remember collector used that in chat the other day and it made me so happy. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. We've been feeling restless and have been very casually looking at houses in Utah. It's beautiful in Utah. It's also unbelievably expensive out there, but if you can afford it, it's a gorgeous place and people are super nice. And I like, I think Utah's great. Uh, I would never move back there, but that's also because I was born there and lived there like all my life. And so I feel like I don't know. It's complicated. I feel like people that have never lived there before probably really enjoy living there now, but I grew up there and I have a lot of weird, complicated feelings about it. Boyaki says, I'm considering moving cities after spending all my life in Paris. I love my city, but I'm at a point in my life where it doesn't matter where I live. Just need to find a job in another city. I mean, sometimes you have to just go where the jobs are, you know? I was in Paris for three days and I just remember... 
Um, we went to McDonald's, which was like six stories high, right? Because there's not a lot of space to build out in big cities like that. So it was like six stories of a McDonald's. And we were a family of five and we needed ketchup for our French fries. And I went to ask the girl for ketchup and she gave me one packet. And I was like, can, can I have, can I have more ketchup? And she gave me one more packet. And I was like, thank you. And I turned around and went back to my family because I felt bad asking for, can I have some more ketchup? Like I have five people over here that all have French fries. <laughs> Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, we have talked about, um, that's true. Over there, they're just fries. We have talked about um, Arkansas, Alabama, you know, something along those lines. Um, oh, it's Kate. Okay, it's afternoon. Oh, I can't keep all these things straight. Like, so many things. We're supposed to find the missing beluga. And then... I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. That's what we'll do then. We'll go over. Do I have to like, can I, oh, I need, what are my upgrades? You know what? I feel like I might have a chance taking down that um, shark if I opal ore. Where was opal ore? I don't remember. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where I saw it. I might be able to take down that great white now that my grenade launcher is better. I can't remember. I can't remember like what's been happening, but I have so many things I need to do that I'm like, what is like, what is this happening? Weapon season's like, I want to be where the people aren't. That's Ander. That's my husband. Then actually, I'll be honest. I, um, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, proud parenting moment for Lindsay this morning. We had icy windows and my partner wrote high on my windshield. When I scraped it off, little guy started crying. So I wrote high on a slip of paper and he put it in his pocket and took it to daycare. That is so adorable. Bless our little babies. They're just the most wholesome. That's so cute. Oh. Now that is fancy. Okay, yep, I will take that over a grenade launcher for the beluga. Um, I think the prices in Utah are high, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It just depends on your price. Like, it depends on you and, like, what you can afford. But Utah's beautiful. It is. Like, the mountains and everything, absolutely gorgeous. It's a really beautiful place. That's something I still miss to this day about Utah is the mountains and just, like, the just the geography of, of it all and just everything. It's so, so pretty. Um, but like I said, I grew up there, so I kind of have slightly com complex, mixed feelings about things, about being there. Oh, this is going to be a good run. Look at Dave picking up all the cool things. I'm supposed to find, like, secret doors. I'm, like, flipping switches. You know what I'm saying? I think I said geography. <laughs> It was me! Did someone say Geo Guesser? I do like going back to visit Utah. Ander does not. Ander does not like going back to visit Utah at all. But he's like, oh, if I go back, oh. Can I like drop something on that? That looks like something, that floor looks like it can be broken. Maybe you guys need to spend some time with Charlotte because she is a magical child who is absolutely hysterical and she cracks me up. She exhausts me, but she cracks me up. She's so funny. Just the way her little mind works. I got a frozen cod that can be used as a blunt weapon. <laughs> what? Can honestly say one of my favorite parts of this game so far has been when Dave Ninja Secret Agent rolled over the box when we were checking out. Where was it? Oh, I've already come down here. <sighs> yeah, isn't House Flipper like a really popular game? Don't people really love House Flipper? I've never played House Flipper. Flipper. Yeah, so we're in the glacial area. Apparently there's a frozen cod. 
Martin's like, I think the mountains are pretty, but summer is so dead. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, but everything is dead, especially in summer. Yeah, I don't know. We went out to visit my dad when we went out last summer to visit him. They had a really mild, super just delicious spring. And so they had everything, like everything was super like moist and the grass was gorgeous. And oh, it was so, it was perfection. Every night we'd hang out on their backyard, like their back porch and we'd play games with the girls out on the, out on the um, grass. And oh, it was just like, it was, it was literal heaven. No fire ants in the grass. It was so nice. And I was just like, man, this is what I want. But I'll never have that because I don't want to live in Utah and because I can't afford to live in Utah. Auden, yes, that's how that's spelled. And she is also a little magical child. I love her. I met my future nephew-in-law on Christmas. He's seven and very quickly decided Uncle Collector was his new favorite person. He wore Collector out. Yep, that's what they do. They have endless energy. Um, Charlotte has endless energy, and I'm like, I don't know how you have the, this much energy at 9.30 at night. Like, how is those things? How, how? And she goes, what? I'm a kid. I'm like, I know, if I could bottle that, if I could bottle that energy, that would be amazing. It would help me so much. Okay, well, I'm confused. Because... There are supposed to be multiple doors around here, but I can't... Nope. There are supposed to be multiple doors around here. I found one, but there's a current coming out of it that I cannot figure out how to bypass. And then the other... And then I can't find another one. That's got to be it right there. But I can't get in there either. Can I, like... Maybe if I go up to it, will he be like, oh, that needs to, oh, no, no. Lost in Tevat is too easy for me, and that is concerning. Does your dad still love his Kizix? Yes. My dad has like four pairs of Kizix. My dad loves Kizix. <laughs> I've always wanted a pair too, but I couldn't really bring myself to spend the money on them. Um, I bought myself some Converse instead, and I really love my Converse a lot. Unless I'm supposed to, I know if I could harness my kid's energy, I would be a bazillionaire. I could sell that energy. Bazillionaire. What is this? Topaz. Ooh. Oh, there's a leafy sea dragon right there. There he is. Ooh, he was like orange. We oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a weedy sea dragon. Okay, here's my other question. Can I upgrade my suit to go down into the warmer area? Or... Have I... Oh, see? Yeah! There are these areas that I should be able to go into, but I can't. I also haven't found the beluga. And it doesn't give me anything to, like, you... I'm confused. Um, GeoGuessr might be the game making me feeling the least smartest person in the room. I can't play it anymore. But I do play the GeoGuessr video game versions. Yeah, see, everything gets warm down here. I almost wonder if it's my suit, though. I wonder if I can go down lower if I... That's probably true. If I could take like a two hour nap every single day and then go to bed at like 7.30 every single day. <laughs> but alas and alack. Oh my god. Leave me alone! Oh! I don't think I've been over here. Have I? No. Yes? Maybe? Oh, that's helpful. I do really like this music a lot. I need opal or but I will also take that or there oh 
Oh, there's another mirror. Oh, oh, what? I already came. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so many questions. Uh, we're going to disassemble that. I'm supposed to be finding more of these switches, but I don't... I can't get in that other one because there's a current. But I clearly haven't been here before. Oh, there's a thing of ice. Let's use that for something. My kiddo's starting to ask why I have to, why he has to go to bed before me. And last night I was like, dude, if I could go to bed, yeah, if I could go to bed right now, I would. Trust me. Do not want to stay up late. Yeah, I think I went to bed last night at 9.45 and I was actually really, really grateful for that. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed. Oh my gosh, there it is. And it is sad. Dave, do you not remember? Oh. Oh, I have a, um, I have a rifle or a sniper rifle. I'm gonna, <laughs> stop there, I say to the wild animal. Oh shoot, we gotta like find him. I need, okay, this is. Oh! Okay, so we're not fighting him. We're just following him for now. Okay. This game is filled with surprises. I, am I supposed to shoot him? I can't, there's no way. It's a good thing I picked up that extra O2. Eh. Oh, he's gonna open that thing for me, maybe. Oh, never mind. Dang it. I thought he was gonna go down in those rocks. Dang it. I'm not supposed to be, f like, trying to hit him, am I? Because there's no way. Oh, sweet. He's gonna do something for me. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. I'll rescue it. Here you go, little buddy. <laughs> so the octopus gives me the antidote. The antidote? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna do something to open that up. Yeah. Well. Hey, it's John! What to do, what to do? Oh, I know. Wait, this was all connected because like, well shoot, now I don't remember how to get back to the Beluga. <laughs> and I'm gonna run out of O2 before I get there, probably. Boo. Who likes good news? Hey, it's everyone. Chang! Oh, thank news, you everyone. so much for the resub. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. That supports me and my little family. My little, my little pumpkins. My two little pumpkins who uh, I love and adore, but are also, oh, oh, that is fancy. Did I get frozen? Wow, okay, that's really intense. Aquamarine. So my Aunt Trisha, my mom's sister, passed away before, like right when I was, I don't know how old I was. I think I was one or two. Um, so I don't ever remember meeting my Aunt Trisha, um, but she had this aquamarine ring that was beautiful that I found in my mom's jewelry box one day and I loved it and my mom said I could have it and so we got it sized, it was this big giant aquamarine ring and I wore it for years. And then something happened and it got snagged on something and it totally it totally bent it out of shape and it was totally unwearable. And I was so sad about it. And I took it to a jeweler and she was like, yeah, no, we can't fix this. And then she goes, I mean, but I mean, it's, it's worthless. And I remember being like, 
maybe to you it's not worthless to me like that's an important piece of my family's history i was so annoyed that she said that but i know what she meant like she meant it wasn't worth any money but like it wasn't worthless i just was annoyed i just felt like that was a really kind of callous thing to say all right we found the beluga my game sound how do you mean? Do you mean it's like <laughs> rescuing it, so mugging it? Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the music weird for anyone else? Is this just a thing in the game? Uh, it's a weird thing through OBS where the sound slightly adjusts in pitch when the microphone isn't being used. It can be fixed, but I don't know how. What? Yeah, do you feel, do you realize you've been wearing a piece of garbage all these years? That's, I just felt like that was such a, I just felt like that was such a mean thing to say, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Tell you what, when I go back to, um, the music doesn't sound weird to me, but there is a very good chance that something got skewed in OBS, or maybe I just need to restart the game because I just, it was just, my Nintendo was just sleeping. So let me um, let me get up to the boat and I will save and then I can restart the game and hopefully that'll fix it. Sometimes that happens through um, with cert like audio sources. Sometimes that just happens. <laughs> kind of makes me feel well. I'm gonna have to go back through the vod and listen. <laughs> oh, see, here's a mirror right here. Because it doesn't sound weird to me. But I remember when um, we did, when I did Lies of P, the sound was super wonky at the beginning, but I thought that was just what the game was supposed to be. And it wasn't until multiple people were like, yeah, no, this is weird. I was like, oh, okay, all right, I guess we'll just, oh, it just stopped? Let me know if it happens with this music too. Like the little, like this music. That's all I got was a weedy sea dragon. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, that's because it's a seahorse. That's right. This is like a fancy. I was like, why is it? Oh, that's so cute. Look, it says happy Halloween. Cru oh, did I not have to buy wheat from him? I was actually kind of secretly hoping that it would grow randomly. That's interesting. I wonder why. I mean, I can restart the game anyway, just to be safe, but that's really, really interesting. Like I said, I've had, I've had that happen, weird issues like that happen before with sound. Um, I also have that happen with my PlayStation 5 sometimes, um, where, uh, like, if I don't, if I sleep my PS5 and then come back to the game, Sometimes um, the sound is totally off and I have to completely reset my PS5. I've never had that happen with a game console before. So that is definitely not, um, that is not totally uncommon. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I, I, I route my audio from my Switch in a different way that I route my PS5 audio. Yeah, you have to pick, hold. Da, na, na, na. Okay, it's D-Day. Oh, I guess I could have just gone straight to sushi, but I didn't. And we can't go find the great white shark yet. So <laughs> yeah. Da, na, na, na. Classic, classic sound effect. I've heard it all my life and I love it. I totally love it. I just love, that's part of the reason I cried when I first started playing Z Tears of the Kingdom. It wasn't even so much that it was, that I was sad really. It was just kind of like, I'd waited for so long and we'd all waited for so long. And it was just amazing that it was finally here. And I, I knew that I was probably in for something amazing. And I have a lot of memories wrapped up in that franchise. and. I don't know. It was just, it was just one of those, it's just one of those moments. I'll probably have something like that. 
<laughs> I'll probably experience something kind of similar. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not, but I might experience something similar when I play the Final Fantasy VII like remake part two, just because I have a lot of memories wrapped up in that as well. Okay, he's gonna make it. Let's go! Dragon! First there was a dragon! And the tiger! Is the music still sounding weird? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, what? What? Um, um, I have to do this again? Okay, hold on. I gotta grab my, hold on. They just like constantly surprise me. They're like, surprise, you can't play with the pro controller anymore. Music sounds fine to collector. Okay, well, I wonder if it was just that one little moment. That's so weird. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Motion controls while streaming in front of a desk are really kind of strange. Okay. All right. Hold the two Joy-Cons vertically. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Okay. I, okay. I don't, okay. Play with your right Joy-Con. Okay. I'm chopping? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if I calibrated it right. Okay. Chop. 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 Oh. Chop. Chop. <laughs> Yay! I never chop onions. I use a little chopper. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that wasn't as perfect. Bite-sized pieces. <laughs> Why did it make me use both Joy-Cons? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Um, okay, coat the fish with starch. Okay, put it down. Move it around. Huh. 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 Why? There we go. Put it down. Move it around. Lift it up. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down! Back it up, Terry, back it up! Okay. <laughs> How do you, okay. Put it down, shake it around, lift it up. Here we go. Oh, shoot! Put it down, shift it around, lift it up. It was not perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Back it up, Terry, back it up! Um. <laughs> I hope this will actually, like... Register. Yeah! Look at that. Amazing. Zombie. Stir fry the ingredients with the sauce, okay? Oh. Stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. 
Jumpily, stirring it. Okay, stirring it, stirring it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, perfect stir fry. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, let's see. That was really intense. That was crazy. Ready? It's gonna be mine. It's gonna be me. Yeah! Boncho is the winner! Oh, she's angry. That was really intense. I did not expect to have to use my <laughs> joy guns. This game is just filled with surprises. Oh, that's right, I forgot I had a voice changer. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Oh, shoot, now I have to use these. Yo! Oh, okay, alright, okay. Yeah, awesome. I don't want to use those. Like, I love those, but... Oh, no! I lost? But I am the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course your dish was excellent, Wong Pong. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Bancho's dish gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time testing, tasting the fish. Bancho gave me a perfect blend of the interesting and fresh taste of a Stargazer and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking only about the taste, yours was better, Wong Pong. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final verdict is Boncho. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Boncho? I wanted to present the... Thank you, Boncho. The champion saves words for more action and we love it. <laughs> I don't really love these like chef like competitions because they stress me out like a lot. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wong Pong in his area of expertise. I also feel like that is not the last time we will see that chick. Chinese cuisine. All right. Well, we got a thousand gold. We got 50 likes. Was that on Cooksta? <sighs> okay. So in order for me to, I need, I really need to upgrade my, like, I need to be able to hire another person. But in order to do that, I have to get the best taste. And I think I need to use like super upgrade. Oh. So that feeds four people. So then... How do you, oh, but I only have one blue star, blue spotted stargazer. I mean, okay, I guess I'll add that. Oh, so if you make that, okay, wait, I'm still, If you add auto supply, I still am slightly confused on the whole auto supply thing. Oh, I think it's over whatever the th thing is. <laughs> I'm not making any sense. <laughs> I'm thinking out loud and it's making sense in my head, but it's not making sense for me explore like explaining. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I went through and upgraded, like enhanced so many things yesterday. Oh, and then we have the starry skate, which is, I didn't know a skate was a thing, but it is. So we're gonna add, okay. Yeah, I really wanna be able to hire another person but I can't do that until my cooksta or whatever 
is better. I think... Okay. Oh, that's 180. Okay, all right, cool. So that feeds... So does that mean... You know what? We're that's that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Hey, it's DJ! Happy Wednesday. Oh, an evil laugh in the zombie voice. I didn't know, I didn't know what you meant. I was like, well, I have an evil laugh, like command, but you meant with the voice chain. Oh, I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, I'm still slightly confused on like the portion size. I don't know. I, oh, okay. <laughs> Scratch that itch. Okay. I do like fried rice. Oh, blobfish spring roll. Ugh, that sounds so gross. Ah! Oh, by the way, I think Jay Hops asked yesterday what the weirdest seafood I've ever eaten was. And I said, I would ask Ander. Um, I asked him and he was like, I don't feel like I've eaten anything that's really that weird. So there was his answer. Also, um, <laughs> happy, I know I wear this all the time. I need to make some new ones. I need to make some new video game inspired sweaters. Because this is called, what? what? This is called children to adult. Oh, in what? In um, uh, voice mod, it's called boomer. Why it came up as children to adult, I don't know, but. Are you sure you don't have any in the back? Could you check if it there's uh, some in the back? I don't know what the children to adult is. Are you, I'm, I'm gonna need to speak to your manager, please. Okay. A AMD is allergic to shrimp. I don't have any allergies to seafood as far as I know, but I don't like seafood, so I don't. I don't ever um, eat it, but my kids aren't allergic to it either. My girls love shrimp a lot. Trick or sushi. I will help you out. I really wanna. Okay. Man, my servers move so much faster than me. Okay, that makes sense. Four people can order that before it runs out. I understand. Kind of. Dave has to do everything. Oh, I gotta wash dishes. We're gonna run out of dishes here. Why is he mad? Why? Why was he mad? Because I need another server. That's why. Um, I think this is Marlin or something. Cleaning dishes. I've still got that girl with the puppet that wants to work for me. Weirdly. Is it the puppet that wants to work for me or is it the girl that wants to work for me? I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, one more person. Closing time. This person. All right, sweet. Nice job, everybody. Way to, way to go. You did it. You did it. Congratulations, you guys. You did it. Boyaki says, one day I discovered I was allergic to arsenic. I mean, even more than the average human. Cyanure? Ooh, that was pretty good. Maybe. I don't know. For how far along I am in the game is 7,000 for one night. Is that like a good amount? I don't know. Maybe I'm not utilizing my stuff enough and maybe I could be baking a lot more. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. What is cyan? What is cyan here? What is, what is that? <laughs> when they put a voice changer on somebody and it sounds like slightly, it sounds human, but n not, not human at the same time. <laughs> 
Oh, cyanide. So are you allergic to apples then? I didn't know there was cyanide in apples. I have to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn on the second control room switch. Is there a way to any, any way to enter the cave? I have mail. You've got mail. You've got mail. Cucumber party? Okay, the whole idea of cucumbers being great for your skin is a myth. Just FYI all your eyes. It's a myth. I mean, I guess if you put... Oh, yeah, maybe sea cucumbers? Any store owners who serve, who serve dishes containing cucumber may participate in the cooking contest. Remember, cucumber is green love. What? Cucumber holics? I like cucumber, but it's not actually really good for your skin. Um, I don't really know why people started putting cucumbers around the eyes. I really feel like any cold compress you put on your eyes, are, it's going to have the same effect as a cucumber. I went to esthetician school and I don't ever remember being like learning that, oh yeah, cucumbers actually have these weird something weird in them that is good for skin. I think it's just, I don't, I don't really know where it came from. <laughs> Cucumber party? Question mark. Yes. That's how I feel actually. Question mark. Indeed. I like cucumber for the most part, but I don't ever th think about it. I'm never like, Oh, you know what I'd really love? I'd really love some cucumber. Or even if I see it at the store, I'm not like, Oh my gosh, I need to get cucumber. Um, but like if Ander buys some and he likes to snack on it, um, he's dieting right now. And so he likes to snack on it and, um, like at night and he'll put it in, he'll dip it in like, what is it? Balsamic vinegar or something or some sort of vinegar. And that doesn't really sound appetizing to me, but like, yeah, sure. I'll eat cucumber, but I'm not like totally obsessed with it. <laughs> Why would anyone want to grow something that tastes that horrible? It has a fresh aftertaste. I do like cucumber. I just don't, I don't ever buy it. Okay, I better plant them now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who talked about a crab trap? When did this happen? Because I've been thinking about a crab trap forever. I was like, there has to be a way to make a crab trap. Okay, well, I better plant these now so I'm like prepared. Because last time I almost didn't have wheat. <laughs> so I better plant these now. Oh, see, I do not like pickles. Ugh. I don't like pickles. I can eat pickles. I love fried pickles. Fried pickles are the best ever. Um, but uh, I don't love pickles. Charlotte and Ander both really love pickles. And they'll just sit and snack on them. I don't really, I, I don't want to eat pickles that in that way. And, and it's funny because I feel like I actually used to eat pickles. I used to like pickles but I don't really like pickles. Or I used to eat them like on, um, I used to eat them on burgers and like I used to eat like pickle relish on my hot dogs and stuff. And then just as I got older, I ate a burger one time and it had pickles on it. And I was just like, oh, it just doesn't taste good anymore. He must have talked about a crab trap. I don't ever remember him talking about a crab trap, but okay. What was that? Banging on the knee. Do you make any sense? Yes, sirree. Put it in a crevice where there's a lot of bubbles and wait for a bit. When it catches a crab, the crab trap will start shaking. You'll know right away. Oh. That's... Right. Okay. I... Kind of remember that. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I supposed to like buy the trap from him?
Uh, no, I think I already have it. I think so. No, no, sorry. What can I? S oh, I can't sell anything. Okay. All right, we're gonna catch a horsehair crab. I don't even know what a horsehair crab is. I don't know. I've always heard of having cucumber on your eyes makes you cool. That is where the expression come from comes from, but not really. Yeah, I've heard of people eating cucumbers like just straight up, like biting them, like not even taking the skin off or anything like that. Just straight up eating them end to end like your little guy. Stand up for cucumbers. Um, Where do you catch a horsehair crab? Oh, let's check this out. Oh, <gasps> no. Okay. My best taste actually did go up. Hallelujah. But that means I need to find more stuff that I can upgrade to have that kind of ranking again because, um, wait, did I... Scrap iron and iron ore? I feel like I should be able to find that. You know what? I feel like I did find that forever ago, and then that shark killed me. And I was really salty about it. Boo. 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 Uh, I'll catch a horsehair crab. I imagine the horsehair crab is probably close to the sea, people. I think. You want to eat Kalulu? The idea of eating a squid just sounds awful. Oh, oh. Like I said, my mom had an octopus tentacle, tentacle salad. When Landrider got COVID, after effects, cucumbers tasted really strange, almost like the minerals inside were changed. Then water with trace amounts of excess minerals tasted irony, tasted like irony cucumbers. That is very strange. COVID is weird, man. Super, super weird. Uh, okay. How do I set my crab trap? Best foods for best taste ranking are the upgraded rarer sharks. That's kind of what I assumed. I'll catch some down in the glacier area. Maybe. If they don't kill me. <laughs> because that has happened. There's some good ones down there. There's like, um, well, the narwhal too. I think the narwhal has some best taste. Gelatinous snailfish. Sounds terrible. Sounds so bad. <laughs> um, there are two sharks I've seen down in the glacial area. I can't remember what they're called. One of them ate me whole and then spit me out. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Okay, he said bubbles? You put them... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I like the... Li I can't tell which one's... I if it's the lightning one or the shock one that's weird. Or I think it's the sh... I can't remember. I only hear irony cucumber and I was... Oh! Oh, those little shaking rocks! Okay... I remember now. Put some bait in a trap. What? Upon catching the crab, the crab trap will start shaking. Remember, unretrieved crab traps disappear when you leave the water. Oh, that's how you catch lobster? Okay. How do I set a... Oh, just put it there, just like my little drone guy. Yep, yes. Okay, higher grade bait. Okay. Okay, let's go down to the glacial area, try to catch a shark. And that, now, it, well, I think there are also crabs in the glacial area. I just did Nemo. Nemo's a snack for the crab. Charlotte has 
this this just reminds me of this one video. My friend used to stream and she did this whole thing. I think she was playing Kingdom Hearts and she had to collect all these crabs. I think she had to collect them for Jack Sparrow or something. So this is my, this is the way my brain works. So I hear the word crab and I think of that video of her saying crabs like thousands of times in one stream. Um, something for Jack Sparrow, I think, which reminds me of the fact that two days ago, I took Charlotte on a walk with me and she was like, can you tell me the story of Pirates of the Caribbean and the Black, the Curse of the Black Pearl? And I was like, I mean, I guess, sure. So she wanted me to like tell her the whole story. And I realized I actually haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean in years and years and years and years and years. So I told her as much as I could remember, but there wasn't that much. I've only seen, I've seen the first one quite a few times, but I've only seen the second one and the third one once a piece. And I was like, I don't. And so now she's like obsessed. She wants to know everything there is to know about the movie. She wants to know what the story is. She wants to know when she can watch it. And I don't really blame her. I know she'd love it, but I looked up a, a video of the, um, or I looked up like an image of the skeletons and I was like, I think they're too much. They're kind of gross looking. Maybe I'm sheltering my child. I don't know. Maybe I'm not giving her enough credit. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, see you, yeah, 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 you. You are a, what are you? A copper shark or something? Oh my gosh! Mm. Swimming around. Huh. I have two grenade. Uh, level two, level two. Oh my gosh! I, can't even, I don't even know what I'm saying. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I thought I got him, but I did not. Um. Boop you in the nose. Oh, crap! Move it! Just... Oh, that was really close. I cannot believe he did not get me. <gasps> if you move far enough away from, like, their home area... Yeah! And that is right. One for the drone. One for the drone. If she's still with Lord of the Rings, I'd keep her away from pirates for a couple of years. Yeah, I looked at the picture and was like, Ooh, that was kind of intense for a Disney movie, man. It's really kind of intense. Oh, that's a poor beagle. Oh, I thought it was a cover or something. I was wrong. Anyway, she's obsessed with it. And she keeps asking me all these questions about it. And so I've been, it's been on my mind a lot. I just remember thinking I'd never, I'd literally never seen somebody as handsome as Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow ever in my whole entire life. I was just astounded at how handsome he was. Even though, I was like, he looks like he probably smells really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was obsessed with Captain Jack Sparrow for weeks after that. I would go online and I would watch, like, little clips of the movie, the little, like, clips they had. Yeah, I didn't know I was into Guy Liner. I would never want Andrew to wear Guy Liner. That's not... That's... It's not like my thing, but I just had never seen a guy that, I mean, T Turner is all, because Charlotte, I told Charlotte the same thing. I was like, yeah, you know that super blonde, pretty elf boy that's in um, Lord of the Rings? Because I showed her what Legolas looks like, and she was like, oh, yeah. I said, that is the same guy that plays Will Turner. And she was like, ah. I was like, you are the most dramatic child, but you're my child. So it checks out <laughs> and she was like don't look at me i'm blushing <laughs> she's so funny um nope oh <gasps> hey it's my beluga friend Ooh, take a left Ooh, now we're right Ooh, take a left this from Finding Dory. He's coming to help a brother out. Oh, I should have gotten that um, oxygen. Oh, I am not prepared to do this. <laughs> Team Kraken. Yeah, I was obsessed with Jack Captain Jack Sparrow, man. And, and it's been an interesting conversation because I was like, here's the funny thing about Jack Sparrow is nobody really knows like 
why he is the way he is. Like, he's not good, but he's also not really bad. Is he drunk? Is he schizophrenic? Is he high all the time? Is he just permafried? We don't know. We really don't know. Um, and uh, he won't tell anybody either. Like, that's the point. Is that everybody is just kind of like, when they, whenever they interviewed him, like, he just never gave any answers. You were 10 when you saw Fellowship of the Ring and you were fine. Okay. There's some really gross orcs. In the second one, when they're talking about, what does he say? He's, he says, I just watched this like two weeks ago. He says something like, in this cave, you can move around with the beluga. Press L5. Oh. Oh, that's be oh, okay. That's because it's all a uh, current. Um, he's like, we haven't had anything to eat but moldy bread for three stinking days or something. And then that really gross orc goes, what about them? They're fresh. That one's really gross. Super, super gross. Can I like, I feel like I'm, can I like run into these things? Like, okay, he eats things. Oh no, it's one of those levels that moves, and if you get back, 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 left behind, you just get left behind. Ah! Oh, pressure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Beluga. I'm so sorry. Cracking it with your head. Can I eat those? Oh no, they hurt you. Okay. I can't handle I also pressure. don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Can I eat those? No. They will hurt me. Okay, we really need to pick up the pace here. Like, hey, it's Vesquez! Oh, what? That is insanity. We're riding on a beluga. That is, oh my gosh. This would be fun if it weren't so stressful. <laughs> I have to do this in one go. This is crazy. Okay, Vasquez, I will check your comment here in a second. I am uh, being ch ah! Oh no! Okay, this just in. You cannot eat the jellies. Ah! Oh, we died! Oh, beans. Okay, now we can. I remember in elementary school, Return of the King was my favorite movie. The wholesomeness of the good guys balanced it out for me. Yeah, meat back on the menu, boys. Yeah, that scene is really gross. And then there's the one that there's the other one that's like, what about their legs? They don't need those. And his jaw like clicks when he talks. Oh, he's the one that gets stepped on by Treebeard. Props to Treebeard. But he's he's um he gets like jabbed by a javelin or something like that. And so he's got like blood all down his face. He's chasing them into the forest and he's like covered in blood. He's creepy. So they definitely get worse as the time, as the movies go on. I don't think Charlotte's quite there yet because she's a very sensitive little soul. But I keep telling her one of these days we will like, we will watch it. I promise. Because I am, I love those movies and I want to instill. There's also the part where Gollum like eats, like bites off Frodo's finger. And I mean, it is definitely like, I totally get it. But at the same time, I can't wait. And then the whole Shelob scene is just really frightening. And I don't know, Charlotte's a sensitive little soul, but uh, oh, I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, this beluga is gonna need like some serious medical care after this. <laughs> Wait a minute! I need a fish. Have I come this, how did I, when did I? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> the mommy jellyfish. What? Well, all your babies explode. Oh, shoot. We're gonna have to ram that big old red button. Whatever it is. It was not a particularly useful finger. Well, I'm glad that he did bite it off because he never would have destroyed the ring if he hadn't, so. 
Nope, you sure can't. Hey, it's Chain! Just stopping by before I have to build an Ikea dresser. Oh, that's very exciting. I love building Ikea furniture. Mm, that always reminds me of um, the Bluey episode, Flat Pack. Uh, oh, no. Oh. Which is like the saddest episode, but... ah, It's like the saddest episode, but it's also really sweet. Jellyfish have no children. They reproduce asexually, Dave. Oh, they have no gender. Yeah, that's true. Not a mommy. Not a mommy. The beluga ooga choo choo. <laughs> oh, I just remember crying and crying and crying in uh, Return of the King. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I'm already down to my last. Oh, there's a thing I can eat. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh, no. They were ready for that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, no. This is crazy. Okay, that's that's better. That's actually easier. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Whoa. Is it a shrimp I'm eating? I don't even know. Oh, beans. Dang it, I'm back down to one life! Oh, crap. Dang it all the heck. I'm so bad at this. Eh. Okay. Oh, this is the worst one. Oh. Uh, uh, get him! Damn, why? I pushed the button! <sighs> Boo. I actually have so many ideas of things I want to build, like really simple things I'd like to build that I really feel like I could do. Maybe not Ikea dresser-ish, but I feel like we have really wide spaces between our master bed and like our, our bed and our wall. And so just a little mini nightstand just doesn't really do it, but we don't have a wall, we have a window. We each have windows on either side of our bed. And so there's nothing for, I can't like mount something on a wall there or else I would put like a wall mounted desk or something like that. So we have these like tiny nightstands that just look ridiculous and it leaves this big old gap of thing, like this big old gap next to the nightstand between the nightstand and the wall. And I'd really love to just take some wood and build like a longer, maybe a desk or something. And I feel like I should be able to do that, but I don't, I'm never willing to take the time, <sighs> realistically. And I feel like I would be bad at it and I'm scared of the saw. I don't want to use the saw myself. I always want Ander to do it, but Ander is always busy and never has time. So I have to wait for him. And then when I wait for him, I can't actually like, uh... oh, what? Come on, just get it together. Eat a shrimp. You'll feel better. <laughs> Wish I could like, da can I dash faster? No. Mm -hmm. I can headbutt. That is all I can do. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Beluga, you got this. Oh crap. Now you're poisoned or something. Oh. Shrimp. Shrimp! Shrimp! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Spencer! Okay, that was too bad. How many times do I have to hit that giant button? Three. Just three times. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> Two cents a ball is a slow at Leno. <laughs> ah, the thing streamer bot picks up. Oh, oh, it left a tentacle behind. That means we're done with it. I don't think we would. I don't think we'd find it again if it hadn't left. We got a poison sack and we got meat. So. R.I.P. to anybody that <laughs> eats the poison sack. There's that one fish that you have to cook the right way. I tell Charlotte all the time that there are certain movies that we'll watch together someday, but it's just not quite time yet. You know, Dave, sometimes I question your competence because... Should I activate it? Yes, Dave. This is on our to-do list. This is what we've been trying to do for days now. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that is one way to win the cooking competition. Just annihilate everybody else. 
Okay. Oh, I do remember this. Okay. So we did have to do them in order then. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I don't think it's as warm down there anymore. So now I think I can go down there. Okay. Your observations are as astute as ever, Dave. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate ya. Thank you, appreciate ya, bye bye kind of dig this music though oh but see now i'm getting like way deeper <sighs> gonna need to upgrade my suit again pour all this money into it i was on vacation now i'm fighting sharks with grenade launchers <laughs> honestly the idea of fighting sharks with grenade launchers just seems like a really bad book idea or movie idea, but it still kind of works in this game. <laughs> okay, I need that O2 right there. And then we're going to have to go back and check our crab trap. Yep. I have a, I have a grenade launcher and I have... Oh, I don't have a pick anymore. Oh, that's right, because I have to upgrade that. So many things. All this money, all this work goes into making money to just pour back into work. Ain't that just the way? Gee, dang it. I'm trying to think of other movies. Oh, another movie Charlotte really wants to watch is Coraline, but I was like, I don't know. Coraline is spooky. The other mother is really, really scary. And I, and they're like these little ghost children. I don't ridiculous fishing did rocket launchers and Uzis. Oh man, I bet that was really fun. <laughs> Every time I think of Uzis, I think of um, Tomb Raider 2. I have very fond memories. Okay, just swam right into the... Um, I have very fond memories of um, playing Tomb Raider 2 with my friend. I doubt this will be anything better than my... Oh... Yes, actually, I will take that because I, if I can tranquilize a shark, I doubt I can be that skilled, but if I can tranquilize, oh, this is a dead end. If I can tranquilize a shark, that will give me like three star shark meat. Oh yeah. Wait, audiobook readings of pirates free on YouTube? I'm sorry, I missed that. What, um, what do you mean pirates? Pirates of the Caribbean? I can't wait to go to Disney and um, go on actual Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, the Shanghai Pirates of the Caribbean is absolutely bananas. It's like the whole ride is a screen and, okay, I won't worry about that pot. That's okay, I'll just leave that there, thanks. Okay, this is a tranquilizer harpoon. Will it tranquilize you? Oh. <gasps> He's asleep! Yeah. Gotcha. Three. Three, 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 three stars. Sweet. Uh, search on YouTube. You might want to listen through it first, but it sounded like the script for the first bit that I listened to. Oh, interesting. Charlotte would probably really like that. Yeah, the, I think it's the Shanghai. Um, <gasps> oh, yeah, you are. That's right. You hide in the ground. <gasps> Come on up, buddy. <sighs> okay, okay. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll get you. Yeah. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Maybe. Oh, or he's gonna put me to sleep. Oh my gosh. Tranquilize, go to sleep. <laughs> eh, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little baby. Um, mm, yeah. Oh, we didn't go to sleep, he died. Oh no, wait, I'm gonna send my drone. 
Um, Coraline is spooky, but I feel it's really accessible. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen Coraline in forever, but they're like these little ghost children, kind of, that are kind of spooky. And um, the other mother is just super spooky. I don't know. I haven't really decided on Coraline yet. I feel like... Ancient creatures? What are these ancient creatures? I caught a Waptia field. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. What are you? What is your job? Oh my gosh. I can't go down that low. Not yet. Okay. I have to upgrade my suit before I can come down here. I thought that was the case. Ooh. Okay. All right. I was looking for a shark, actually. I don't know if that was a horseshoe crab or not. You know what? To be totally honest, I've never seen a horseshoe crab swim. I've only, we only saw horseshoe crabs when well, we, went to, um, news, we went to, um, we went to, uh, thank everyone. you for the resub chain. I love that. Thank you for supporting me and my little family. I appreciate that. How goes the Ikea dresser? Mm, swimming down when I shouldn't be swimming down. I swear there was a, wasn't there a big giant shark? somewhere yeah we are towing the line oh let's grab that really fast so procrastinating <laughs> i feel that yeah i'd really like to like oh i see suam down there okay all right i gotta go upgrade my oh hello boom right in the face oh i think i also hurt myself maybe uh, oh man, really? Yeah, come back and see me. I don't know what you are. But it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> it's night night time. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got it to work. Oh, hella freaking Luya, Lindsay. You just made my day. You just, you just tested out my alert for me. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Boyaki and for testing my alert. I got it to work. It was user error. It was free. It was me. Although I don't know. Last time, remember, it would like, it would like go off if somebody gifted one, but then if they gifted another one, I'm not saying gift another one. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, I'm just glad. I really like giving recognition where recognition is deserved. I don't like when my alerts don't fire because it means so much to me when somebody goes out of their way to gift a sub or resub or subscribe in the first place or whatever. And it bothers me when I can't like have like something happen on screen to celebrate that person. I was trying to figure it out and it was user error this whole time. Apparently I did. Apparently I jinxed it. Well, like I said, I put zero, like there's a minimum and a maximum. What are you? An ice gun? Nope, I am in an ice area. That seems counterproductive. Um, but apparently I thought zero just meant that it would fire like regardless, but apparently you can delete the numbers and just not have any sort of threshold. And I was like, okay, that is definitely not what I expected. But so last night when I was messing around with it, I, um, wow. you didn't have to do that. You're so nice. But that means it still works, though. Oh my gosh, hallelujah. I'm so glad. <laughs> you sneaky. You sneaky Lindsay. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was a shark. It's not. It's kelp or whatever. That's very kind of you. Supports me and my little fam. No ads today. No siree. I haven't found like the perfect ad settings. I think mine will go off like every 45 minutes or something. I don't remember. But I, I don't like pre-roll. I think that's the thing that bothers me the most is the pre-roll ad situation is a bad situation <laughs> because I just feel like either run ads and let people subscribe to not have ads or 
do pre-rolls all the time or something. Don't do both. Oh, you are what I was looking for. Although I really need some ammo. Oh crap, that was, oh my gosh, I missed it. We had a hype train, really? Oh, I didn't even know we had a hype train. Oh, that was really bad. And now my oxygen is going down and I better haul out of here. Yep, okay, narwhal out. <gasps> Oh my gosh. This is way out. 40. Oh my gosh. We're getting there. All right. Oh my gosh. Go back to the sea people. Say pebble. <laughs> I can't even talk right. Say pebble. That's going to fill up my oxygen, right? I'll say. Narwhal. Freaking root. No, no. Hype train. I love hype trains. I need to figure something out to do for hype trains, but I can't. I say that every single time a hype train happens and then I never actually come up with any like ideas. And if I've gone online, I go online and kind of sort of look up like, I try to look at like what other people do for hype trains or whatever. And I, but when I type in anything regarding Twitch, it just brings up like what a hype train is or I need like ideas for like, how can you, oh. The crystal lobster. Maybe that's what I caught. Probably not, I imagine. Choo choo! Oh, wait a minute! Oh no, no, I didn't see that. No, wait! Did the did the alert fire when you gifted a sub collector? Wait a minute. Did I just miss it? I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh, see, see? Did it happen when you did? And I just wasn't paying attention because I was yelling? Because I was being chased by a narwhal? Is that what happened? Or did it not fire? Oh my gosh, tell me. Tell me everything. Thank you so much for that gift, Collector! I was in survival mode? Okay, all right. Oh! Leave me alone. Let me get my stuff. We got a rock lobster and a Norway lobster. Okay, but that's not a horsehair. What is it? Horsehair? Um, okay. All right. I just want to make sure that I didn't, that it fired. That's the biggest thing is I don't want my alerts to not go off. A horsehair crab? I literally don't know what horsehair crab is. I've been thinking about your dilemma about being a full-time Doom Eternal streamer. I was reminded today that there is still a theory that the main protagonist is Link. So if you think about it, you wouldn't play Doom, but just another Zelda title. <laughs> I have literally negative 678 million points of interest in playing Doom. I have too many other things that I want to... I... Oh, like a train that go... Oh, like an overlay? Oh, that would be really cute. Yeah, like a little train that like runs across like the bottom of my camera or like the bottom of the screen or something. I wonder, does Twitch have that already? I wonder if Twitch has that already. I know nothing of that technology either, but you gotta find something. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have an alert for when a train, when a hype train starts. I know you can make one in StreamerBot. Um, I just don't, I just don't have one. Wait, I can go back to the glacial area and wreak havoc and revenge on that. Oh, that would be amazing. A Kalulu train? <sighs> Dang, I wish my sister could like animate. She can kind of animate. I wish I could animate, but I can't. I am so bad. Yeah, a spider. Spider. Yeah, I've got too much good stuff to, like, just go back to the boat now. Is a narwhal over here? It was over here last time. Is it still over here? I can't even. Oh, yeah, there you I are. I am totally can't evening right now. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap. I hate that. Oh, I hate that, too! Oh, beans. Yeah, take that. Oh, Chesto Shio. 
Uh, that was when I lost my voice. That was good times. Go to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Danger, danger, danger. Oh, it's such danger. You know what? It's not worth it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, my gosh. And I don't have any... Get it! Oh, no! It doesn't work! Harpoons don't work on the narwhal! Okay, all right. Good to know. Good to know. You know what, though? Everything I got was just like... Oh, I had a lot of fragments, though. That sucks. It was mostly just... Oh! <gasps> and the venom sack? And the... And the, what is that? An Alinipterus? I don't recall getting that one. Man. Boo. I'm taking... That sucks. Thank you so much for the hype train, you guys. I'm gonna have, okay. I was thinking of something for, like, me to do for the hype train. Like, you know, I've seen song snippets, but a hype train alert would be very helpful because then I'll actually know when it happens. That freaking sucks. Although, I think I did get the tentacle. Like, I... That just goes to show you. I just should not have done that. I should not have gone down, and I shouldn't have gone back down there. I should have just gone back home. That's what I get. That is what I get. That is my own fault. Narwhals are bad business. Bad news. Okay, I'm going to take the uh, octopus because... And one thing, really? Boo. Boo! Lame. Uh, the harpoon just bounced off of the narwhal, so... I thought if it could hit a shark, it would hit the narwhal. I was wrong. I mean, in my head, I was thinking to myself... Well, can I like start over? But I don't know. I don't remember last time it saved was. It I it may have saved. Whoa, what are those items? That's right. Because I used the drone for those. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you think? So it probably is time to upgrade my equipment. Have I reached? No. I just, I was thinking in my head, like, maybe I should go back and start over from my last save, but I don't remember when my last save was, but most of that stuff was stuff that I can just collect. But the thing I was the saddest about, honestly, was all the fragments, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, you can use two. That's what happens when you upgrade. We're going to upgrade our harp. Whoa. Okay. Yep. What is this next one? Do you think it'd be possible to pre-record pre some songs and have the one that plays randomized each time? You mean like for me to sing to? For like su when people subscribe? Oh, shoot. I missed the name of it. Super Alloy Harpoon Gup. Alloy? Charlotte and I were just talking about Horizon Zero Dawn today, and I was like, man, I want to play that game again! Horizon Forbidden West, in particular, I think. We're going to upgrade that. Okay, 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 okay. Because I have... You know what? I have... Um, I've got about 30 minutes left before I have to wake Auden. She napped great today, but I'm almost positive that's because Sissy went out and played with her on the trampoline. Um... Uh, I have, like, song... I can sing song snippets. Oh, like a fun song you record yourself singing for a hype train. That is so funny that you say that because a long time ago, 
Um, I actually wanted to come up with some sort of little song I sang, like a jingle I sang or something, every time somebody subscribed to my channel, and I could never come up with one. I could never like write one. My mom was the type of person that could come up with a little jingle like that, but I could just never really come up with one. And so I just was like, you know what? I'll just do like a song snippet, but I didn't want to use actual backtracking because then I would get copyright claims and things like that. And I did with the Jimmy Barnes redeem when I used to do like the screaming. Um, and, uh, so, um, I did think about that and then I just, I don't know. I just haven't been able to come up with anything. I haven't been able to like actually, oh no, that's not what I want. I haven't been able to write anything. I just feel like I want to do something, but I don't know. I, I still have to, I still have to think about it. But you know what I do have to do is go to the bathroom. So let me run to the bathroom. <laughs> um, the doom song. I don't even know the doom song. I do know. I'm going to sing the doom song now. Doom, 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just waiting for somebody to clip that one. Uh, yep. <laughs> knew it. Totally knew it. That's the only Doom song I know is the one that Gur, is it Gur? Gur sings in Invader Zim. You know what I mean? Let me run in the bathroom really fast. I'll be right back. You know what I really should learn is I should learn the song to Super Smash Brothers. The one that I'm dancing to that I don't really know the words. I don't know the words, but that's what I should learn. <laughs> Something like Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, is this the, oh no, this is the shadow one. Okay, so this is the one that you play to get to the shadow temple. Yes. Okay. My favorite, nicely done, Boyaki. Um, my favorite uh, temple in Zelda Ocarina of Time um, is the spirit temple. My favorite places are always the deserts. I don't know why. They just are, always. I love the deserts. I collected a bunch of clams. That is very exciting. Deliver to Echo Watcher. Okay, 10 research points. What is the point of this? Like why? <laughs> I got a Echo Health bracelet. It looks like the Live Strong bracelets that we all wore in school. You know what I'm saying, you know? Gerudos are cool. I just, I love the deserts in every level. Like even in like Hyperlight Drifter, I really loved the desert area or um, in any Zelda game. I love the desert area always. I loved the desert area in uh, Skyward Sword. Loved it. Um, I loved the desert. I guess I would say Horizon Zero Dawn kind of has a desert area and Horizon Forbidden West also kind of has a desert area where there are lots of big, scary, um, lots of big, scary machines, but I just love the desert area. I love the desert area in 
Horizon Forbidden West for kind of, well, I don't want to spoil it, but there's something there that is really, really cool. I mean, yeah, um, Utah, I think, is considered a desert, yeah. Oh, deliver that. A jade plate? Okay, I haven't seen any. What have I, what have I done? Did I, did I do, oh, oh, five clams. Okay. I don't like the little button notification things on my phone. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm one of those people. I don't like having notification little badges on my phone. You're either one of two people. You either have like 900 billion emails in your email app or you don't have any. <laughs> I'm one of those. It's like, no, can't have, can't have, can't have any little, little badges. Utah used to be a wetland, but that was thousands of years ago. Now it's definitely a lake bed desert. You love water. But you love the desert because it's a lack of water. <laughs> Well, but you'd think that I would love Texas more because Dr. Pepper came out of Texas. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go set a trap, a uh, crab, trap, trap, a trap, crab. <laughs> well, Utah is widely perceived to be a desert state and statistically it is the second driest state in the nation. Its climate, soils, and vegetation are as diverse as its landforms. Utah has three climactic regions, humid, subhumid, or semi-arid. And arid and arid, and each region covers about one-third of the state. Yeah, Texas is also notoriously lacking water. It's true. That's because Dr. Pepper just runs through our veins. <laughs> Spitballing lyrics. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take a picture of this. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can sing it. Oh, but I don't know all the, I don't know the whole tune though. Oh my gosh, we got a hype train today. Amazing things are gonna travel my way. My heart grew three sizes due to this, due, due to this deed. Nothing's better than a hype train to me. I don't know, I don't know that I have to, I have to learn. Those are excellent words though. Oh my gosh, we got a hype train today. Amazing things are gonna travel your way. Okay, I'm listening. Oh, oh, but then it cuts off because I go, oh, okay. I'm gonna need to listen to that because that's actually, that's absolutely fantastic. I love that um, super dance clip. It's great because it, not only does it just make me laugh every time, but it also has to do with my sister and I love my sister. Love my sister. See, I can't write stuff like that. Collector, a fan lobster? Okay. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> Katie says, she sent me a text that said, I told my roommates this year. <laughs> it's probably my favorite. Um, she said she told her roommates that this oh. year felt like wearing <laughs> socks and stepping on a soggy carpet. <laughs> Which I shouldn't laugh about because I can totally also understand her feeling that way. I feel like, the, particularly the end of this year has felt that way for me. But, um, but like, there were also some really amazing things that happened too. Like, even though we had to all get together over the most awful circumstance in the fact that we had to let my mom go... Um, and say goodbye. It was also one of the best trips we've ever had together, and it was just a blast. Whoa, you want to calm yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, my dude. Calm Hakuna Matata. Hakuna your tatas. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're gonna put a crab trap down. Wait, what? I'm oh, Perry, I can use these as bait. Shh. Yeah, I'll put a blue spot. What is it? A star stargazer's wrap? What? Well, yeah, all those clips that thing. come from my siblings and stuff. We had a great time together. It was really, really fun. So it was just, it was just crazy because it was one of the saddest 
weeks of my life and yet it was also one of the most beautiful because it was the it was the only time we've ever gotten together where there was no like looming like departure date or there was no like okay well i fly out on this day or you're only staying for this many days or whatever they were here for a full two weeks and that was like magical i've never experienced that before not since i moved here to texas because we're always on a time crunch. It's always like, okay, well, Joe gets here. And even if he's here for a week, which he's never done, because we've never been able to, my sister can't take that much time off and whatnot. But um, even, you know, even if they, even if my family members come and stay for a week, there's still that kind of like cutoff point where it's like, okay, but yes, they have to go back home next Friday or whatever. But when they were here, there was just none of that because they had booked one-way tickets and it was like well we'll just leave when we feel like we're ready to leave and when they finally did book their tickets to go home it felt like it was the right time to do that I didn't feel like I was like oh crap like they're leaving it was ready f it, I was ready for me to come back to kind of I mean I had to face my life without my mom and without my siblings here it had to happen so it was really nice to have them here and not have any sort of like looming like all right well we're leaving now or we're leaving in two days or whatever and when they left, it felt like the right time for them to leave. They'd been here for a full two weeks and we'd had a blast together, but we'd also cried a lot together. It was one of the saddest, saddest and most beautiful trips I've ever had, I've ever experienced. Uh, whoa. This is a level five? That is quite intense. All right, Narwhal, you get back here. <laughs> Feels pretty miserable. <laughs> yeah, my siblings are great, excellent, excellent people. They're clever and they are funny and they make me laugh and I love them. And I miss them a lot. I wish, I wish I could spend, I wish I were closer. I wish I were closer to at least one of them. Like I wish I could, I wish I were within like driving distance of at least one of them, but I'm not. Maybe someday, I don't know, maybe someday I can move closer to my brother. I don't see us ever moving back to Utah, um, but I can see us moving to Tennessee. Level four, oh, look at that. I need a shark, man. I need to take down a shark. Oh, I'm so glad you're loving Ori. Of course you're loving Ori. You liked Hollow Knight. You have great game taste. Of course you're loving it. It is, it's more challenging. It's it's like, I remember being kind of surprised at how challenging some of the parts are, but there were some moments in that game that I was just, my jaw hit the floor. Some really amazing moments that I had never experienced anything like them in any video games before. I loved the Ori games. I think I still have my VOD of finishing the second one. It was when I was, oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, 97, that's right. Take that. And I also have a little, what is it called? Like a little, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Somebody's calling me from Dallas. I don't know who that is. I love my brother. I love my sister. And I remember, and I think I've told this on, on stream before, but I remember the exact, I mean, we've always had, we've always been close, but I remember the exact moment it happened. I remember when um, we kind of had to like make a decision to stick together no matter what. And we had to kind of make a decision to like put our differences and things aside. And that was when my parents divorced and, um, Wait, wait, wait. My brother is about to move from my town to California. I am going to go from seeing him once a year to seeing him most weeks. Oh, you lucky duck. You are so lucky. I would love to see my siblings, even once a month, man. Oh, it'd be amazing. Oh, you were who I was looking for. Ah. Ah, he just chewed me up. Oh my gosh. There's no way I would have survived that. No way. Huh. Yeah. Oh man, this underwater rifle level five is where it's at. 
That's amazing. Um, yeah, you you are very lucky, and I'm super jealous. I wish I lived well. And my brother just went through like the hardest time of his life ever. He divorced, and everything's awful. And you know, he went through a rough, rough period. Um, and so I really wish I could have been closer to him. But, you know, it is what it is. And my sister, I don't know if my sister will ever move out of Utah either. What are you? Friend? Maybe? You look, literally everything down here looks prehistoric. Everything. Wow, seriously? Get it together, Dave. A what? What even is that? I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna go down. Oh, this is, okay, nope, yep. I know where this is now, I see. Okay, I know where it is, I know where it is. I remember seeing it, and I'm gonna have to do that on Friday. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, I really truly believe you can make it through anything as long as you have the right support. And finding the right support what is your face? Oh my gosh, that was the wrong thing. <gasps> what are you? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Why, why did that not actually go through? Do I have to hit him in the, <gasps> you are, oh, son of a biscuit. I am out. I don't know what you are, but you're scary and I can't, I can't handle you. My gun didn't even work. What is that thing? Oh, he's coming. Wow, no, no, he is armored for sure. Okay, all right, that was a bad situation. Yep, terrible. I thought my little gun could take anything down and I was wrong. I honestly, honestly believe that if you, if you have the right support group or if you have, you know, a, a few people that are really close to you and you have you have a, a even just one person that is a pretty solid supporter, I really think you can make it through anything. I'm not saying that it's easy and I'm not saying uh, I'm not saying that it'll be like a walk in the park because that's obviously not the case. Certain things certain things are just awful to deal with no matter what. But I really think, you know, everybody deserves to have some sort of, oh, son of a biscuit, leave me alone. I'm trying to leave here. Can I s save at the sea people place? Oh, whoever called me did leave a voicemail. So there that is. Yeah, the armored Lionel of the sea. You're telling me. Which is why, you know, I know this time of year can be hard for some people because not everybody has that. And it always, it just breaks my heart. I wish, I really hope everyone, oh, I can't use my phone here. That's right. And that's how you save is with your phone. So we're going to head up to the boat because I got to go wake Auden. But I just, I want, um, I wish everybody can find or has, you know, that at least one or two people, um, you know, one or two people that are your support group because everybody is going to go through a rough patch. Everybody's going to have a really hard time and we all need the support of other people. I don't believe anybody was supposed to go through this life totally on their own. I really think we need other people. That's right. I got a Greenland shark Woo! and a poor beagle shark. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Okay, I'm going to save here. And I got to go wake Auden. And I got to start cleaning my carpets, which is not very fun. But my carpets desperately need it. So that is what has to happen. But I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate all the, um, all the uh, subs and all the gifts and everything. No, the Roomba doesn't clean my carpets. My Roomba vacuums my carpets, but I need to actually like 
clean them with like a carpet cleaner because they're so disgusting. And I keep thinking to myself, we're just going to replace the floors anyway, but that never happens because we just, that's such a big project. We just haven't gotten started with that yet. So, um, but my, my family room definitely needs a good shampoo. So, um, but I hope everybody has a good rest of their day. I appreciate you so much being here and I appreciate all the gifts and the hype train and everything. Um, I'll look into doing a hype train alert because it's always kind of a, I always, um, yeah, cleaning the carpet. I know. I don't know what the girls are going to do, but I'm just going to be like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm cleaning the carpets. I do it in like sections, you know, but I think I'm actually going to start back in our bedroom because our bedroom carpets haven't been shampooed in forever. And Auden has spilled milk on our carpets and everything. And I just, I just haven't done it. So, um, because I think in order for me to do the family room carpets, I have to put our Christmas tree away first. Um, and I have to find bags to put all our, what, 10 inflatables in. So anyway, so, um, just remember how much you guys mean to me and how much you matter. Don't ever forget how much you matter and how important you are. Um, and, uh, I am so grateful for this community and, you know, thinking back on all the last five months, I really, you know, I have supportive siblings. Yes. But if I didn't have this kind of outlet and, a way to spend t time doing something I really enjoy. And if I didn't have this community, I really don't know. I really don't know how I would have made it through it all. And it's Dee Scheidler. How for how much I mass. <laughs> you and DJ BJ. Those dad jokes. I feel like I'm blushing. I feel really hot. Like the room is just warm. That happens after a while. Like I feel like my house is cool. And when I come out of the office, maybe it's because of my... I bet it's because of my computer and like my talking and all that stuff. Anyway, um, so everybody enjoy the rest of your day and everything. There will be no um, another diving stream in the books. I appreciate you guys too. All the gift subs and everything. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and uh, so there will be no stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, but I'll be back on Friday and we will tackle this last switch. Um, down at the bottom of the glacial area. So that's exciting. I feel like I'm actually like making headway, which is cool for a while. I feel for a while there, I felt like I wasn't making much headway at all. And I was kind of just like diving and getting fish, but I need to not, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing and not get distracted and like actually follow like the storyline because I think there is an end to this game. So Anyway, uh, so I'll see everybody on Friday. Um, everybody enjoy the rest of your day, your night, and your time zone, just like um, Collector said. And uh, yeah, I love you all, and um, I'll see all of you guys next time. Adios. Bye.